you know, the Americans with Disabilities Act wasn't just passed overnight. Uh, and in fact, I, I must be completely honest, I was not the first person to introduce the Americans with Disabilities Act. It was a senator by the name of Lowell Weicker, a Republican from Connecticut. The Republicans were in charge of the Senate. I had just come to the Senate. I had been working with other disability groups, uh, but he'd introduced the bill and I became his chief co-sponsor. But then he got defeated. And then the Democrats took over the Senate, so I picked up the bill and reintroduced it in, uh, uh, in the spring of 1989. Uh, and uh, that's the bill that finally became law at that time. And we had a lot of struggles with it. Uh, I was chair of the Disability Policy Subcommittee of the Senate Health Committee. Senator Kennedy, Ted Kennedy, was the chair of the committee, but he let me chair of the Disability Committee. So that's, I had all my hearings, and then we worked with so many different groups. Uh, Justin Dart, of course, uh, mm -hmm. who went all over the country, every state twice, in his wheelchair, uh, getting the support necessary. Um, ADAPT, an organization that uh, through the 80s had been uh, lying under Greyhound bus wheels and chaining themselves uh, around uh, uh, inaccessible places, uh, getting arrested. Uh, they were doing what uh, the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. had done in what you call, what we call creative nonviolence, creative nonviolent disruptions. And uh, ADEP brought to the attention of people in this country things that they hadn't thought about before. So this all kind of coalesced and uh, we had uh, we had passed it in the Senate in the fall of 1989 but then it got stuck in the House all winter. We couldn't get it through and then on I think I could be mistaken about this date, but I think it's March the 12th that sticks my mind. In March of 1990, ADAPT, uh, under the direction of Bob Kafka, did what we call the Capitol Crawl. It's when they rolled the wheelchairs up to the Capitol, they fell out of the wheelchairs and crawled up the Capitol steps. Again, to show people that's the only way they could get into the United States Capitol. And when that hit the news, and the evening news all over America, we got the bill out of the house, I think, 30 days later, <laughs> we got the bill through. Uh, so that was, uh, that was, it, was uh, it took a long time. We've come a long way in 27 years under the Americans with Disabilities Act. Uh, more places are accessible, we have curb cuts, we have widened doorways, all new buildings built in America are fully accessible now. Uh, we're getting closer to this concept of universal design because we know it helps everyone, not just people with disabilities. Uh, as I said, even a simple thing like curb cuts, you think about it for people with wheelchairs, but people with strollers, elderly with walkers, I mean everybody is helped by that. Um, and so we've come a long way. Stadiums, theaters, we have closed captioning for movies and TV shows, real-time captioning now, you can hit the mute button get the captions. But so we've come a long way, uh, but uh, where do we go? There are five titles in the, in the, in the um, uh, ADA. The first title is employment. There are four goals of the ADA, full participation, equal opportunity, independent living, economic self-sufficiency. That's been the worst. We have not broken through on employment. So since my retirement, that's what I've been working on, is employment of people with disabilities. Not in make work, but I mean in competitive, integrated employment. To me, that's kind of the next frontier, and that is to, to get more people uh, and, uh, with, uh, with disabilities into the workforce in America. And second, and not second to that, but in conjunction with that, is to make sure that when we um, design programs, when we conceptualize new technologies, when uh, uh, we do city planning or streets, 
a disability diversity should be a part of that from the very beginning. Like my goal is that when, when city planners or, or businesses, things like that, when they're planning things, bring in people with disabilities, hearing disabilities, seeing disabilities, mobility disabilities, developmental disabilities, intellectual disabilities, ask them, mm -hmm. how can we make this? How, you, from the very beginning, how do we make this more uh, uh, accessible and to accommodate everyone?